tired of resin casting all your gems, or you just don't know how to do it, or is it just too damn expensive? I have a couple solutions that might just work for you, that may not break your bank as much, that does not require almost any skill, and looks just as good almost. So let's all begin. So for the first method you'll need three things. You'll need these mosaic glass gems. They come in a bunch of different sizes. Um, this is the general size that I've found. They're, they're flat on the back which is good for attaching them to flat pieces over here. Uh, or you'll need something to back it with. I chose this sparkly paper because I'm going for a red gem so I chose a sparkly paper. You can use regular paper if you want but it's not going to be sparkly. If you want it to be clear and you want it to be a little bit more vibrant you could always use some silver origami paper or some tin foil uh, or even just color that with a sharpie and kind of get that same idea if you need it to be a different color. You're going to need some scissors. The last item you'll need is some sort of permanent marker. So this paper is kind of hard to draw on so I just drew on the back. I put my gem down, traced around it with a permanent marker, just gonna cut it out. Using some sort of adhesive, just kind of stick it on there, and it should look like that. Now you can either leave your gem like this, or you could do what I do, and just kind of color around the edges with your permanent marker. If you want to get really, really vibrant, you can color your gem with the permanent marker as well. If your shape is a little bit more difficult than a circle, like for my Ocarina of Time Zelda, I had kind of a teardrop shaped gem. If it's a rectangular or anything like that, you can actually find clear ones at the store. I needed a bunch for my upcoming costume, so I have a bunch. Um, but you can get individual ones in the jewelry section of Michaels, of Walmart, and you can just kind of do the same method, only they'll be cool non-circular shapes. Also, keep that paper someplace that isn't near your costume because it sheds like crazy and you will get red glitter everywhere. For simpler shapes, you could always just buy these little acrylic gems. Um, you can get a single colored like these at Michaels. You can get an assorted pack of them. They, um, they have them in a bunch of different shapes. If you look online too, they have them in a bunch of different shapes. Another thing that you can do, you can actually commission people to make resin gems for you. If you need a Sailor Scout approach done in either a circle or a heart shaped piece, or if you need Yoko's little hairpin or uh, Satsuki's little hairpins as well, you could get them from SLA Cosplay. Um, they're wonderful people. Their prices are really, really, really affordable, so I will link them below. There are a bunch of other people as well I don't know the names of, but um, definitely commissioning is a good way to do it because they have the set molds and they can just do it a million times for you. Um, if the gem size that you need is a little bit smaller, about this size, but you need it in a specific color or you need it to be like a diamond or something or a heart, a uh, method that you could use is you could use your shiny paper, you could use your origami paper, or colored and sharpie, whatever you want, um, and you can just get your hot glue gun and just dab it on there and make it a little gem. This is just a quick and easy way to do it without spending any money. I use this for my Twilight Princess Zelda armor, and it worked just fine for a small little thing. You could also just use ribbon that you have lying around to create that China shiny effect. My last method that I can give is I don't have any with me. I was going to buy some for this video, but I just really couldn't afford it. There are these flat marbles that you can buy to put in like fish bowls or plant vases. Um, they come in all different colors. They're like $2.49 for a giant bag of them. They're affordable. You can get them at Michaels. You can get them at like Home Depot. I'm pretty sure you can get them at Joanne Fabrics. You can get them at any normal craft store. Um, they're pretty much the same size. They're about that big. So yeah, it's a quick and simple video, but I hope I could help some people who are just trying to save some money, and I'll see you next time.